you turn on your desktop, log on to your computer and open up Chrome and search up for the top OSU plays of the month. You observe players like Emrek and Vaxay hit unimaginable jump patterns. Arturna and Ryuke's pure streamability or lifeline single tapping consistency. You ask yourself how 1000 PP plays are humanly possible and whether if you will be able to ever be on such a level of OSU mastery. OSU, as most people know, is a rhythm game. However, it is more important to recognize that rhythm knowledge contributes greatly to a player's maximum potential. Many players new to OSU will find that their tapping is either early or late, which is a common issue even for some 5-digit players. In this video, I will cover the basics of setting up the optimum offset settings for your gaming system. There are two types of offset in OSU. A universal offset, which I will refer to this video as the base offset, and the local song offset. The base offset can be changed in the following steps. Firstly, click on the OSU graphics user interface. Then, click options. Next, type in offset. And finally, click on the offset wizard. If the offset wizard button is grayed out, check to see whether if you have your raw input settings on. You can then deselect this by typing in raw and checking to see that this option is not checked off. Next, make sure that you have Render at Native Resolution also deselected. You can deselect this by typing in Native and checking to see whether if this option is checked off. If yes, make sure that it is not. The local song offset is a type of offset you apply on a case-by-case -case basis. Something to note is that the local song offset should only be used when players are applying modifications or mods for short on a song, namely the double time or DT mod and the hard rock or HR mod. Before you can use the local song offset, you must first bind keys to the command. You can navigate to this setting once again by accessing the menu driven interface within options and hovering over the left sidebar tab. Find input and click on Change Keyboard Bindings. Finally, scroll down to the In-Game section and bind the right square bracket to increase local song offset and the left square bracket to decrease local song offset. For me, this is the most efficient way of remembering which key is responsible for which the rightmost direction is perceived as the positive direction and vice versa. Thus, to add positive 5 offset, click on the right square bracket once. To add 10, Click on it twice. Each key press will increase the offset value by an interval of plus minus 5 offset. It depends on whether you press the right or the left square bracket. As a rule of thumb, use plus 10 offset when you're using the double time mod or DT and plus 5 offset if you're using the hard rock mod or HR with an error margin of plus minus 5 offset as there are some exceptions to this. This will be explained later in the video. When you click on the Universal Offset Wizard, you will be presented with a table with an infinite loop of bars moving from right to left, with the center reference bar as an interacting piece with the moving bar. When these two interact, a distinctive tick can be heard. To find out what your optimum base offset is, it is important to recognize that you must first know how to keep time to a given song. The skill developed it by musicians. Not to worry, however, keeping time to a given song can be simplified by first listening to the song itself without the ticking effect, using the first downbeats of a chosen song as the starting reference point and tapping your toes or fingers in a simple harmonic motion. Downbeat. 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 Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, six, two, three, 
four, seven, two, three, four, eight, two, three, four. If you're keeping time to song, and you realize that your tapping is earlier than it takes of the offset wizard, that means that you need to reduce your universal offset. If you're tapping later than the ticks, it means that you need to increase your universal offset. Make sure you change the value of your universal offset by increments of plus minus one each time. Note that when you're keeping time to a chosen song, this should be done with a song with no modifications, thus no mod. I like to use this analogy when explaining to others about Osu's universal offset. Imagine two strips of paper, the first representing the song and the second representing the beat map itself, both of which are aligned to one another, side by side. When you first start Osu, these strips are misaligned, signifying that the song is either earlier or later than the beat map. Thus, while we meddle around with the bass offset, to ensure that these two strips are aligned. This is the same idea when using mods. If you use the double time or DT mod, the song is sped up by 1.5 times or 50% faster than the original song. Thus, the first strip, which represents the song strand, is misaligned and in this case earlier than the beat map. Therefore, we add a plus 10 offset in efforts to realign the song and the beat map. The same is true for the Hard Rock or HR mod, but for a different reason. Since the difficulty increase is by 40%, this also means that the Approach Rate or AR and the Health Drain or HP will also be scaled by a factor of 1.4 times the original value. This means that the song is misaligned by 40%. Thus, we add 5 offset to help to realign the song and the beat map. You will realize some songs with Hard Rock or HR mod will require you to not add any offset at all. But for this case, for DT or Double Time mod, some songs require a positive 15 local offset. This is due to the BPM range and the boundary conditions of the approach rate or AR for that particular song. However, for the sake of simplicity, simply alternate between the two given values of the local offset and see which value is more pleasant to play with. Overall, it is important to select a no mod map that has relatively easy beats to keep time to. Adjust the value of the universal offset by increments of plus minus one until you feel like your timekeeping and the ticking effect are synchronized uniformly. As a benchmark, add plus 10 local offset to songs with the DT or double time mod and plus 5 local offset with songs with the HR or hard rock mod. I hope you found this video helpful. If it did, I would appreciate if you could drop a like and subscribe to the channel. I have just revamped my Discord server, which I will be using for community events as a platform for helping streamers and visual artists alike to grow and promote their content and to build a community of driven and talented individuals. The link to the Discord server will be provided in the description below. Thank you for watching.